uh, well students uh, yesterday i gave you a problem uh, to solve i hope uh, you must have solved uh, that particular problem so let me give you the solution to uh, the problem uh, that was told to you in the previous class uh, so going ahead let me put across the data on the board rupees 30000 so this is the current outlay for the project and then values and the standard deviation uh, given in the question are for there are four years in the project 1 2 3 and 4 and the expected values are eighteen thousand, twenty thousand, twenty thousand again, and ten thousand. and standard deviation seven thousand four thousand six thousand and uh, two thousand so the important aspect is uh, point number 1 that is uh, cash flows flows are perfectly correlated point is risk free so we are expected to calculate the net present value and the standard deviation of npv so to calculate this as i uh, explained you in the last class in the uh, previous uh, video as well so similarly let us go ahead and calculate expected net present value so expected net present value is equal to submission p is equal to 1 to 4 a t bar divided by 1.06 raised to t minus 30000 so this is equal to 18000 divided by 1.06 plus 20000 divided by 1.06 square plus Twenty thousand divided by one point zero six raised to three plus ten thousand divided by one point zero six raised to four. Minus thirty thousand.
so is equal to 18000 into 0.943 plus 20000 into 0.890 plus 20000 into 0.840 plus 10000 into 0.792 minus 30000 so this you will get 29000 494 as the answer so this is the expected npv so this is so this is the expected npv so let us calculate standard deviation of npv standard deviation of npv so this is submission t is equal to 1 to 4 sigma t divided by 1.06 raised to t so if you calculate this so it will be 7000 divided by 1.06 plus 4000 divided by 1.06 square plus 6000 divided by 1.06 raised to 3 plus 2000 divided by 1.06 raised to 4 so if you just calculate this it will be 7000 into 0.943 plus 4000 into 0.890 plus 6000 into 0.840 and uh, plus 2000 into 0.792 so this gives us 16785 so this is the standard deviation of uh, net present uh, value so students uh, we have solved series of problems on uh, the project risk analysis so the first part of the problem that we started uh, with uh, the assessing uh, the net present value under uh, different scenarios and then uh, we went ahead in calculating the sensitivity analysis uh, problems and then we came across and uh, started solving some set of problems on break even point that is financial break even point as well as uh, accounting uh, break even uh, point and then uh, in the last class and the today's class we have solved couple of uh, problems on uh, assessment of expected uh, net present values and uh, standard deviation of net present values so that's all in this particular chapter